Hello. All right, uh, what are we looking at today, dude? Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, digital twins. And uh, once I've unlocked my, oh, once I've unlocked my computer, not my colleague's computer, um, <laughs> <laughs> I will now show you uh, a bit of an example. What I, what I basically want to do here is I want to, I want to show you uh, an example of a digital twin around um, turbines, wind turbines, actually. And um, you remember your password, right? I do, sometimes. We haven't practiced this. <laughs> now we're in business. OK, cool. So let, let's, let's start with uh, wind turbines. I want to I dive a little deeper on, on the topic of um, uh, the digital twin. And um, we picked wind turbines here because they're, they're one of the assets where, that GE makes. And we have thousands of those wind turbines. This is a particular model of a wind turbine uh, that you're looking at here. And um, remember. Each one of those individual wind turbines, that particular wind turbine in this particular wind farm in this particular location, each one of them has <coughs> a digital twin. Now, each one of those wind turbines, the model here has about 150 or so uh, sensors that capture everything from uh, the torque uh, on, on, on the rotor to the vibration of, of the gearbox. So interesting information. You get a lot of information out of those digital twins. And as <laughs> Patrick said, uh, that information is accumulated, is analyzed by the digital twin. You basically build out that specific twin for the specific wind turbine. But importantly, it's not only the information, the OT information you get from the asset. You mix that with other information you have, information about the design of the asset. So you can have simulation models that describe how the thing should work, information about the service records that can tell you about what went wrong and what to do if something goes wrong. Right? So, so you, you build this rich uh, set of digital twins for each individual wind turbine. You put them all together, and then PREDIX basically acts as a learning platform. It makes those individual twins smarter and smarter by basically having them observe their environment and deducing interesting patterns from uh, the, the community of all those twins and, and feeding back that knowledge to the twins. OK, so tell me how to build this thing. Why would you, how, how, what would you do with a twin, it, right? right? So, so to, yeah, to how do I build it? What do I do with it? Yeah, so uh, because the, the, the twin by itself is a really interesting beast. It is, it is, a, it is a, a, a complex uh, thing that, that you need a platform like Predix to build. But it's not really an application by itself. It is the potential of applications. A, a, a twin, sometimes we, we had a hackathon actually going on on, on a boat uh, out, outside yesterday and today. And uh, when I talk to developers, I tell them, don't start building an application when you want to build uh, uh, in the industrial internet thing. Start building a twin. Because the twin is potentially hundreds of applications. And what I'm showing here in the background is one, one of those hundreds of applications that you can very easily then derive once you have the twin. This is a dashboard. So what you do with a, with a, <laughs> with a dashboard, like with, with a twin, you basically take some of the information that is codified, some of the knowledge that is aggregated, and you put it on a dashboard. What we're showing on this dashboard here is, for example, some information about the past of this particular one, industrial context, as, as we refer to it. You can easily do some KPIs. How is it currently doing, the present state of this particular one? And then for me, quite frankly, <laughs> most interesting, you can actually try to look into the future. You derive insights. In this case, for example, would tell you whether well, there's a problem coming, and, and in this case, there isn't. Right? So this is one of the applications that you can build around a digital twin, uh, building a dashboard. Cool. But there's more. <laughs> All right. So if, you, if you're not satisfied with that one application, everybody wants to build a dashboard. That's the first application you always build. You want to see how your equipment is doing. Um, but the twin has a lot more potential. There's a lot more information in there. So what you then can do is you can basically dive deeper. If you want to know a little bit more about its past, you could, for example, go in here and you see a breakdown of you know, the performance. Uh, most important pieces in there. You can deduce uh, information from this one. You can see uh, a, a history of the service records around this. So there's a lot of information that has been kind of codified, has been extracted, uh, that just gives you a better perspective on what happened to the thing before. You can dive deeper, and you can look into the KPIs. You can have a much more detailed breakdown of what happened. All that information is lurking in the twin. You just have to tap into it, and you have to make it, make it come to the forefront. And then again, my favorite uh, insights, looking into the future. We have the past, the context, we have the present, the KPIs. Here we, here we look into the future. And this is just illustrative, but it basically tells you uh, something about 
uh, based on the models that we've, de uh, that we've de derived, uh, the information that we've learned from the many, many twins out there, uh, what's the probability of failure of particular elements of, of the wind turbine, uh, what would happen, you can play what if games, what would happen if I tweak this particular parameter, how would that impact uh, the outcome, uh, the energy produced in this case from the wind turbine. Cool. So that, that, that's, that's kind of what, what, what you can do with a twin. I don't want to leave you uh, without a Are quick glimpse. Are you going to geek out? Say again? Are you going to geek out? A little, a little, just, just a little, just, 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 just a little. I, we, we showed a lot more to, to the hackers uh, yesterday, but what I wanted to uh, quickly just show you is uh, maybe a little bit of what does it actually look like? How, how, do, you, how do you build uh, such a twin? And I don't want to. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, Patrick likes it, I know. This is <laughs> kind of stuff. I don't want to dive too deep, but, but so uh, when, when you go to predix.io, uh, you'll find actually ready-made reference applications. We have actually built, we have a, a, a twin for you, actually, actually a few of them. And uh, without diving into any details, uh, it's, it's actually quite a complex application. It's templatized, you can basically customize it, but typically what you do in there is you would, for example, <laughs> you, would, you would write some code uh, to uh, extract information from the twin. You might have some other code that basically, where is it? I think it's this one. Uh, that where you, where you basically describe the model of the code, you, the, the, the model of the, of the twin, you would write some code to basically visualize the twin. So, so you, can, you can see there's a lot of code that, that is uh, highly templatized. It's relatively easy to modify this to the application that you want to build. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Well done, sir.